So today we're gonna to take that base ingredient and make a miso style soup. If you think of a, of a stream, it cascades down the rocks. That same thing we can do in the kitchen too by cascading dishes. Join me, Steve Bryce, as I guide you through what I learned, tips, techniques, tricks, as well as mistakes over the years as I explored plant-based eating in my transition from being a meat eater, working in the meat industry, to becoming a vegan chef. I mean, in miso soup, it's dashi, which has bonita flakes, which is fish, which we're not going to do that. So we're trying, and normally miso soup has some type of seaweed in it. So we're going to do that with this seaweed snack, which it's close. It's supposed to have scallions. Well, we had chives from the garden, close enough. We do have miso, and I'm going to use a, a darker miso. Miso is fermented, uh, so it's water, soybeans, rice, salt and it's been fermented and that's miso. I like the flavor of miso. Many cuisines around the world are already plant-based. They didn't include meat in their daily meals. Meat was only reserved for special celebrations because it was a precious item. In our Western world, we've taken that special occasion and made it an every meal, not just every day, but every meal occurrence. That's just too much, way too much. So as you enjoy the last bit of your meal, don't forget to move in nature or practice flowing in on your mat whenever you want to find flow and ease in your life.